our investment paid off. And I'm not talking about the inform investment we did the other week, but about the investment that we do every week that I made a video about it. And just one SBC made us like 350,000 coins. So before I go into any packs that we have this episode as well, let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, we have 85 sold items. Not all 85 are because of the investment, because as you can see, we have some higher rated players here as well that I just sold. But if we go to the next page, we can already see two players. Banega sold for 2,600. He sold for 2300 But now the fun starts. Look at this. Look at the prices we sold them for. And look how many there are. We made absolute bank. And it just continues. I kind of slack with the investment. I'm not going to lie. Because we could have had way more than this. But all these players together probably took me half an hour to invest in. And probably like 15 minutes to sell. And we made like 350,000 coins from it. It's actually insane what one SBC can do. And if you don't know what SBC I'm talking about. The World Tour Argentina required players from the Argentinian League. You needed 11 here. You needed Argentinian players here with five from them as well. And there are just a lot of SBCs that could make the price go up. But especially those first two made them go up a lot. And I don't know if their price that I sold them for was their peak. But 2,500 per card is insane. Because we bought them all for 200 coins average. So after tax, we made more than 2,000 coins profit on every single card there. Let me know in the comments if you invested with me with buying bronzes and silver players. And how much you made from this. Because this was a banger. By the looks of it, we're going to get this every season. We got the French League before. Before. Now we have the Argentinian league. So next season, we're going to get another league and we're going to have those players again. So if anything, you should invest maybe even more into it. And then there are also the weekly SBCs, the daily SBCs that also make some profit for us. So if you haven't done this investment yet, at the end of this video and in the description, I will link that video again of my investment and how I do it. It's a very easy guide, very easy to do. And you can make yourself profit like this as well. It's that simple, honestly. But what is apparently not simple, I also made a few mistakes this week, not investment wise, but I forgot to play my rivals so i didn't get any tokens i forgot to play my squad battles well i didn't forget i just had no internet this weekend so i couldn't play it i did do jiru as an sbc we had to do it is he gonna play in the main team no will be a super sub yes and maybe in the future he will go in the main team who knows but for now we had to do him he was not expensive we just did it with two players but i want to show you one more thing before we go into the packs and this pick well you know what we're gonna open this pick the people who skipped ahead to the packs right away won't see this Okay, we got an inform. You know, I'll take an inform. And that was actually what I wanted to talk to you about, about our inform investment. Because obviously we invested in them and they didn't go up at all because EA flooded the market with informs. So they are pretty much minimum price and we would currently lose around one and a half thousand coins per card if we would sell them for their current prices. We have still 38 of them in the club. The dupe players I sold, I quick sold actually, because we needed space to sell the Argentinian players. But we still have 38 in the club, which if we would quick sell is 380,000 coins. So if we would quick sell them, we already have 880,000 coins. But of course, we also still have Bergkamp. If we would sell him and he's 130,000 coins right now, we would have 1 million coins. It didn't go very smoothly, but we're halfway there towards Henri. We just got to find the next investment with the 500k we have. We're going to restock the club with players that we could sell potentially with the silvers and bronzes. And we're going to lazy list the informs, probably around like 13, 14,000 coins for now. And whenever I see that they go up, we hire them out. Like we just want to lazy sell them, get some coins already up until the moment it actually go up so it's not looking too bad we still have some packs to open as well and the team is actually looking decent i did my playoffs even on the mobile network i managed to get three wins out of my first three games so the rest i gave away the team looks very very steady it feels good we just gotta replace courtois and tonight because i'm recording this on a sunday it should be a buffon throwback whenever he releases i'm gonna use my father to do him because he played for juventus obviously which i replayed for as well and we just need a better goalkeeper than courtois because even in the playoffs he didn't save anything and that is really time to work super hard towards Henri because it's about time that we get him. And I know I talked a lot, but we're really gonna open the packs now. We don't have like an insane amount of packs. I wasn't really able to get tokens to get the big packs already, so we still have to wait with that for a little bit. But we do have some packs and hopefully we can pack something good. And obviously with the tradable packs, we gotta look into the Argentinian players because they could still be up and they're probably around like, this one is around 850 coins. So he isn't as high up as yesterday when I actually sold them. Trade will walk out out of a prime electron player pack. It's trend. It's not a good one, but it's tradable. So we get some coins from it. Around 7,000 coins at the moment. That will bring our total to 500,000 coins. So that's actually very nice. And there you go. Another player that's worth around 1,500 coins at the moment. Probably 1,600 we can sell them for. Check your club, guys. Oh, we, by the way, also have a 10 coin pack in the store. At packs for you. Like last week, we got it like every few hours. But sometimes it's worth checking because now we logged in for 60 days. So maybe you have a 10 coin pack here as well. Don't think it's going to be good. 
It's not, but it's three players pretty much. You get two 83s and a 77 for 10 coins. And by the way, don't get tricked into any of the other ones because they're really not worth it. 80 times five walkout. I skipped it already. I didn't expect it. 88 and 80 times five is not bad at all. We need that fodder for Buffon anyways. Another walkout and skip it, an 81 double. Why do I skip it? It's an 86 and 84. But we get no special cards at the moment, even though there's still quite a few in packs. 80 times five, walkout. Strike your French. Ah, uh, that gave me flashbacks to Mbappe from last episode. Turn the truck. Please be a big one. Striker, French. <gasps> no, it could have been Mbappe. It could have been tradable Mbappe. But we do get an 86 and an 85, which is not bad at all. Oh, and I just heard a leak that Buffon SBC is gonna cost 350,000 coins. For an icon goalkeeper, you know, he's gonna be quite low rated. They know how to price their icons, so it's actually slightly too expensive, the SBC, but people still wanna do it. The 350k SBC is it's quite similar to that. So I kind of wanna do it. On the other hand, for that price, we can also do a base icon SBC that is roughly the same price. So I'm not really sure yet what to do. I, I guess we gotta see next episode but let me know in the comments if you're gonna do him yes or no there we go another play of a mixed player pack which goes to show that they can be profitable right now with a good sbc he is around 3600 coins and then we have a silver player here that is also around 3000 coins so probably the players that i sold for like 2500 we could have actually sold for like 3k they want to take the risk honestly let me open a random bronze pack and see if we can get an argentinian player because i bet we can make a lot of money on that as well and we already have a usa manager who is around 900 coins okay there was one of 600 500 okay she's around 400 coins but that's almost the entire pack back already now with the quick sell value of these players this one i'm not even gonna list because he's not gonna sell me we kind of need space for lazy selling the informs we made another 340 coins so we literally make profit out of this pack already okay there we go i opened like three or four more and we get an argentinian player from that league and that is another 3,000 coins probably can sell it for 3200 so i'll list for like 30 you know what i'll list for 31 someone can have a good deal and we get our coins then we also have another player in here that is around 700 coins but i feel like he at some point could go up even more i'll keep him in the club but this goes to show bronze pack method right now is fully back so if you want to make some coins and you have a few coins to spare this is a good investment method while also making profit while doing it obviously don't do this if you have only 5,000 coins because then you gotta be lucky that you pack one in the first like few packs but back to the normal packs because obviously uh, i got distracted sorry <laughs> just wanted to show it and we do get an inform right away, so that's good. Inform. Walkout. Still so used to the informs from last week. This is 88 or 89 rated. Let's hope it's 89. And it is. Let's go. Would save us like 25,000 coins on an SBC. Oh, inform. I predicted it. Just saying. It wasn't even a walkout, but it was from a bad pack. And it's tradable. Okay, we do get a walkout. 83 times 3. They know I don't like him. They know he's bad for me. We already have his base and special card. And now we get two goalkeepers. It's two walkouts. I can't complain of an 83 times three, you know? Like, that's actually really good. But why does it have to be him? 84 times three. Not a special card again. We only packed one inform so far. That's the only special card we packed. It wasn't even a walkout. And now we get three times an 84. Okay, the last pack. An 80 times 20. The bronzes and silvers I'll open another time just off recording. There's no point. 80 times 20. Come on. It's an inform. It's a walkout inform right back I actually didn't look at the informs this week we packed Ronaldo okay and Diallo that's not bad but he is not worth much and why is his preferred position right back with 45 defending he probably played there in that game but that's actually a decent pack but yeah guys that's gonna be it for now hopefully you enjoyed it like I said I will link the video of my investment right now you can see it on the screen it's also in the description hopefully you made a lot of coins because of it as well if not you can still do it they're still up in price a lot and then I'll see you next episode with fat champs with hopefully a good result thanks for coming man thank you really appreciate right. it